Right, um, I know I said I wasn't going to do any more videos this weekend, but I remembered the last one I want to do, do with the cottage pie, which is the turnovers with chilli. So I'm just going to add water to my cottage pie there. Now this isn't an entirely full packet, um, I took a couple of tablespoons of it out um, to mix with the chilli um, because the consistency would be nicer to go inside um, the turnovers and I'm not going to make a full six turnovers. a bit fiddly but I shall do my best so do like and like my flatty patty just put it all Greaseproof paper. And then get a trusty silicone mould to flatten it out. I'm not sure how well this is going to work because this is actually a bit wetter than normal, I think. We're going to certainly give it a go. Now I've already made up the chilli and the remain, remaining cottage pie so that it can absorb the water. I haven't microwaved any of it. I've just um, added the boiling water. So flatten as much as you can. Like I said, a bit fiddly. Now, <laughs> as I'm not a cook in the real world, and I never was, I don't have things like cake cutters and stuff like that. So to improvise, I've used the lid of a broth that I'd finished and cut the little bit off. So here goes nothing. So first one, and then obviously like when you're doing pastry, just flip that over to the rest of it, because you can flatten that again. And here, in theory, it comes up. a bit thick so ideally you peel it off uh, it is peeling so that's something so I've got an extra piece of greaseproof paper to roll it onto so put it flat side or flattest side off I think is probably best if you think you need to flatten it down a bit because that is quite thick Flatten it down a bit. And then yeah. this is the mixture of um, the chili and the cottage pie, which I will make as a main meal later in a second. Um, you don't need to put very much in because obviously these are quite small. You could make them bigger, I would guess. Probably make one huge one with full of chilli. So, probably half a teaspoon. It's really not very much. That might be too much, but let's have a look. 
So then, obviously, we need to fold it over. Now, this is going to leak, I have no doubt. You see me, so I'm folding over the grease proof and then sort of squish the ends down. Yeah, messy as. And then, basically, ignoring the chilli, you've got a little turnover. And so I've got another piece of grease proof. I'm going to pop that on there. And then carry on. I'll do one more on film and then I'll finish the rest off so, so as not to bore you too much. I'm trying to average about seven minutes for the videos that I do. I'm cutting them together. Okay, so comes another one. Squish it down. Remove the excess. Clean it off. That's a bit, this one's a bit thinner actually, so it probably won't. Be fall apart. No, okay. So again, flat side up is probably best. And a bit less chilly this time. If you can see that. In fact, a lot less. Put that there. And then again, hard and over. Now, when I did these last time, I did um, put water on them, but that was mainly because I'd done not enough water in the mixture, so they were getting really crumbly as I was trying to fold them, and then I discovered folding the greaseproof paper was uh, a hell of a lot easier. So, there you go, number two. They remind me of crispy pancakes, which again, mentioning blip food. So, okay, I'm going to see how many more I can get out of that. And I will be back, obviously, immediately um, to show you them ready to go in the oven. Okay, so I managed to get six. And then there they are on my little try. Excuse me. Uh, now, as far as cooking them goes, it's going to be a choice thing for you. Um, I like them crunchy, or I suppose because they've got chilli in, you might like them a bit softer in the middle. Um, so 15, 20 minutes, but still 180, 170, 180. Um, so I'm just going to pop these in the oven and we'll be back with the end result. Okay, that's them done. They're Still a little bit soft, um, which is perfect. So, we'll see what it looks like inside. And as you can see, hopefully, a bit closer, we've got the smush of the chilli inside. Okay. Wonderful. So I've got the chilli already made up, the rest of it. And then we just pop them inside. I mean, of course, you can eat these with an actual knife and fork as well if you wanted to have them as just one meal. At the moment, it's two, as usual. And there you go. Cottage pie turnovers. Hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Thank you. See you later.